how to make 130K a year as an information system security officer doing no technical work at all in cybersecurity. So how to make 100K plus or 130K, 140K, 110K a year as an ISSO, an information system security officer, doing no technical work in cybersecurity. So there is a niche between in, uh, within the cybersecurity field called compliance, governance, risk, and compliance. So within governance, risk, and compliance, you have non-technical roles or non-technical jobs that you could do because most of the techies are not looking to do governance, risk, or compliance. Most of the technical people are looking to program. They're looking to code. They're looking to uh, intrude and hack systems. So most of them are not looking to do the paperwork, the reviewing of security controls and policies and procedures. They're just like, give me my computer, give me my tools, let me hack and let me do my job. So this leaves the section of compliance wide open. And that's why companies are paying lots of money to people who know these skills uh, to help these companies remain compliant. What happens if a company is not compliant? They could get fined, all right? And so it's very crucial for these organizations to hire people to keep them in check. So what do you do when we talk about compliance? There are many laws and regulations out there that deal with um, cybersecurity laws like FISMA, um, OMB, Circular 130A. Uh, so these are different um laws out there that make companies um, hire people to help them meet these compliance requirements. And so as an ISFO, what type of work would you do? You would be um, a facilitator. You would help your client uh, remain compliant by observing their procedures. What is it that, that they do on a regular basis? What's their process? What's their system? Is it in line with um, best practices? Is it in line with industry standard? Is it in line with um, legal requirements and compliance requirements? You're also going to be looking at their policies. Are their policies sound? Are their policies in line with compliance requirements? Are they compliant? So you're gonna be reviewing these policies. You're looking at what the company is doing versus what uh, the industry is supposed to be doing, all right? And the other thing you do as an ISSO or Information System Security Officer is you help your client get to a point of authorization. So the client has um, systems that they're trying to install on a network so that everyone in their department, everyone in the organization can use. And um, the law says you can't just install something on uh, the government network without it going through some form of assessment to make sure that it's secure, make sure the system or application or software you're trying to install is secure and that there are no um, risks that the organization is not able to manage, all right? So they're going to look at that uh, system. They're going to walk the client through a process to get the system assessed and authorized. When we say authorized, we mean approved to use, all right? And so those are some of the things that an ISSO does and gets paid a lot of money every year. And so how do you become an ISSO, the first thing you need to do to become an ISSO is get training. Get training on the skills of an ISSO. 
uh, first place to go to get at least some information about an ISO is go on to Google, download NIST, N-I-S-T, Special Publication, or SP 800-37. This document is going to tell you about what's called the Risk Management Framework. It's going to tell you about the different roles within the Risk Management Framework. And the ISSO is included in one of these roles within the Risk Management Framework. And this is going to give you some insight of what uh, needs to be done in terms of that uh, assessment before a system could be used on the network. And so the next thing would be uh, try to get training. I do offer training uh, for ISSOs. So if you go to my site, uh, www.cyberfirstacademy.com, look for ISSO training, and that will help you. I've packed all my years of experience into this course, things that a lot of other companies uh, do not um, train you. Uh, I train you about how to attend meetings, how to schedule meetings, how to think, um, and the risk management framework, the roles and skills that the ISSO should have, um, also have documents and everything that you could use, and also um, resume prep, um, interview prep, all that stuff is all included in the course. So I think this is a great opportunity for anyone trying to get into IT. Um, a lot of people's lives have been changed just um, switching over to the compliance side of cybersecurity. And you could ask, what background do I have to have an IT background to do this? No, a lot of people who uh, were previously nurses, teachers, uh, that worked retail, um, as long as you know how to read, you know how to communicate, um, you know how to research, then this would be the job for you. All right, so if you found this information, valuable, please like and subscribe. Hey, if you're interested in any of my cybersecurity videos, here is one I would recommend for you. It's the Information System Security Officer Training. This course comes with tons of videos, um, a CAP, which is the Certified Authorization Professional Bootcamp, comes with quizzes, comes with a certificate of completion, resume template, um, ebook, monthly live Q&A sessions, the ability to ask questions as well and get a response back in uh, 48 hours. Also has interview prep and job prep. So this is a power packed course. For more information, visit www.cyberfirstacademy.com. Thanks.